Hey everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. So we are back today with Disney Dreamlight Valley. In the last one, we did start the new update. Uh, we worked on Minnie's quest and we've got a quest for Merlin now. We have not yet unlocked Simba and Nala, but we'll try to get that done today. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have mail. Let's check it. So I did get all the Twitch drop rewards. So we'll go ahead and grab those. That's a whole gamer setup. Okay. So we did that. Um, we've got this going, so I need to give Merlin a favorite gift and talk to Goofy. Okay, so let's find Merlin. He's in here. What does he want, though, before we do that? A dream shark. Oh, I actually have hors d'oeuvres with me, I think. So I'd rather give him that than a dream shark. Oh, hello! Yeah, I have hors d'oeuvres right here, so we'll give him that. Ah! Well now, you see... Okay, so we got that going. Go fishing with Scrooge, mine in the plaza. We have two more of those, so we'll go ahead and grab those. Collect star coins. I do have... So I need to grab someone... He was a gardening person before I go grab my, um, what's it called? Pumpkins. Let's look in here. Is this a wallpaper? Good day to you. It is. That would be a really busy wallpaper. But we'll go Aye. ahead and get it anyway. <laughs> All right, who is gardening? Wally's gardening for me, isn't he? Wally. Yes, so let's hang out with Wally for a second. Come on, I'm trying to get out. Don't be stuck. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do need Ursula and Mother Gothel, so let's go get that done. Okay. Did you find that last batch of potions to your liking, dear? They worked like a dream. I'm quite grateful. So happy to hear it, Angelfish. Now, if only there was a way to get rid of the biggest pest of all around here. That pompous, blustering windbag. You must be referring to that insufferable know-it-all. You guessed it, Merlin. Oh well, a girl can only dream. Talk soon, my dear. Uh, confront Ursula. Where'd she go? Ursula. Oh, it's you. Ursula, Sam. I saw you speaking to Mother Gothel. Oh, you've been spying on me, have you? Oh. I wouldn't have dreamed you'd stoop as low as that, Wimbag Wizard. I'll bet he put you up to this, didn't he? Merlin asked me to see what you and Mother Gothel are scheming about. I'm just trying to prove him wrong. No! It's hopeless, Angelfish. That blithering fool's made up his mind. Yes. All I was doing was lending a bit of help to a neighbor. Mother Gothel needed something to keep her house free of pests. So I offered her a little tincture to take care of the, pro the problem. 
but I'm afraid it's impossible to get rid of the real pests around here, like that bombastic goody two-shoes Merlin. So you and Mother Gothel are friends? Friends? Well, I suppose I don't find her company all that terrible. So yes, you might say we are. Huh. Ugh. It's getting so someone can't even socialize around here without being accused of nefarious schemes. Can you imagine? Be a dear, Heather. Tell that pompous prig to leave us be, would you? I'll tell him. Thanks, Angelfish. Trust me. It's for his own good. Ha! Ah. Merlin keeps bothering me. Someone might slip something into his tea that turns him into a toadstool. Entirely by accident, of course. <laughs> Okay. Let's go find Merlin. Is he still in the thing? Yes. Okay. I love how they change seats oh, when you come hello. back. Well, Heather, have you uncovered what Ursula and Mother Gothel are scheming about? Uh. Those ingredients and vials they're trading, they must be potions, but what for? Ursula told me it was just something to get rid of the pests in the Great Willow. <laughs> ha! I find that most unlikely. She and Mother Gothel, they just seem to be friends. Friends? Balderdash, I don't buy it for a second. Ursula doesn't have friends, just people she can use. We should leave her alone for now. Oh, come now. We can hardly trust Ursula's word. Ah, yes. But in the absence of proof, if you insist that there's no scheming going on, uh, I'll leave them be for uh, now. Oh. I only hope we don't regret this. Now then, I've concocted a little something to thank you for your help. Here, a bit of dreamlight ought to compensate you for your trouble. Ah, splendid! Did I get dreamlight? Or did I not get anything because I'm full? How much does it cost to expand? 20k, sure. I'll expand. I guess I didn't get it. I don't know. Maybe I did. Alright, let's get up here to the pumpkins. Do that. That should take care of us having to do money for this. Okay. I don't remember how many I have in here. Two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, let's grab this. Hopefully they don't do one of those, like, gold things, because I can't see it. I wouldn't know it was happening. Oh, yep, see there. I think I have like 40 pumpkins now. Stop. I I want them to do something with this area sometime soon. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay. Good to see you. So let's go ahead and sell our pumpkins. And I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna sell the soybeans. I won't sell the clay. I'll sell the apples. We don't need those. Sell that stone. I don't know if I need those or not. Okay. And then we need to buy our 40 pumpkins. Whoa! -ho! 
Okay, so we did get our star coins. Complete 10 dream light duties. Now, did that count? Yes, because I hadn't done those earlier. But let's grab that. So the Dreamlight Duty one's always pretty easy. Okay, um, let's go ahead and... I wasn't trying to do that. I'm just trying to grab this. I think we already sold three apples, so that should count. Hey there! Towards this. That and the gooseberries. Okay, I guess it didn't. Alright. Well, let's plant our pumpkins, because we can do that later. It's not raining anymore, unfortunately, so we are going to have to water these. Let's get this done. And then we'll see about getting into the new realm. I think I was expecting it to be, I don't know, have the emblem be colored, but I think I just have to go up to it. Which is weird, because I, you know, I've done this before, but I, like, couldn't remember if it was, like, sparkly or something to let you know it was there. And I have been seeing something about potatoes, but I don't know what they are. And I seem to have missed whatever that was. Because I do have, you know, seeing I play so many games, I do kind of like when I'm not doing something specifically for this one, I don't really have a lot of time to play it. So I don't play a lot when I'm not actually recording it. So there's stuff that happens sometimes and I just have no idea about. All right. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, there is a coin for us. And we are on the lookout for aliens as well. So sell three fruit, have a daily discussion. Well, someone's right here, so we'll have a discussion with her. Oh, hello, dear. Heather, you have my attention. Shall I give you some motherly advice? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to have someone appreciate my <sighs> kindness. Unlike some ungrateful children who will remain unnamed. <laughs> what would you like advice about? Um. Uh, Life. Mm. Well, life is a race, Heather. If you're not winning, you're losing. Mm. And most people are forever losing. You must make sure that you win, always. What are you waiting for? Alright, so we did that. Not the shop. We're thinking about that, but we don't have a ton of... Don't think we have a ton of those. So that would use a lot of what we have. Okay, we need to find Goofy. Um, we need to go mine in the plaza. I can't believe how many new friends I've made here. Okay. We just need three more of these. And then one more. There's a lot about this valley that reminds me of home. Let's grab this. Okay. So we got mining in the plaza. Oh, that's what it was. I thought I rec remembered picking those flowers, and I'm like, I couldn't remember where it was, but it's in here. And that is... 
Oh, where are they? They're in this area. But now I'm not seeing any. These ones, right here. Okay, well, let's see what we can find of these flowers. I'm getting sidetracked. But I guess it doesn't hurt to, like, take time on things, because that way I don't finish it so quickly. But it would be nice if they gave me more than two of those flowers. I used thought there used to be more of them, but... I don't know, maybe there's just too much stuff around here. Ah, there's one, I see you. Get out of the way, Wally. I don't need you following me, actually, so go go away. Bye. Okay. Um, we need to pick up those carrots, probably. We need to do some cleaning up around here. It's just, like, the last thing on my mind to clean up around here. Oh, there's a... Alien. Alright. Well, I guess we'll leave and we'll wait for those flowers to respawn. I'm gonna stop in my house. I'd like to, I guess, get some of this stuff unpacked. Okay, so, I think, I have those elsewhere, but, put that in here, this in here, snowballs in here, we'll put the sticks in here, those in here. I do have spots for these in here as well, and these. Then these are food ones. I don't have any room for sugar here. Let me check this one. Hey, yeah, there's some room. Potato sugar. Okay. And then we'll just have to head down to the gem chest and all that. Okay, so let's head up. We'll check out the castle. Because I definitely have the dream light to unlock this. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's got the thorns around it as opposed to ones like those that are just blank. Okay. Well, hello! Ah, Heather, behind that door you'll find the majestic African savannah. And only you can use Dreamlight to open it. Sure. How marvelous! Stupendous! You may now visit the world. I tip my hat to you, though I, I prefer not to take it off. Okay. So I think that's just my teleporter. So let's talk to Nala. Grr. Hi, I'm Heather. And you must be... Roar. Uh, uh, nice kitty. Stay back. I promise I'll find you some very large catnip in a scratching post if you keep your distance. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? Never mind. I'll keep my distance if you keep yours. 
You can talk. Of course. And you can understand me. Huh, I guess that means you're really not going to eat me? I was just trying to scare you off. I thought you were another hyena. There are hyenas around here? You see those eyes glowing in the darkness all around us? There's a whole pack of them. They've been tracking me ever since my mate Simba and I set out for the Pride Lands. Hmm, maybe I could help you get rid of them. <coughs> well, you can either do that or keep out of my way. It's up to you. Uh -huh. My name's Nala, by the way. Uh, what are you doing out here? Trying to get a little rest. Simba's king of the Pride Lands, and we need a bit of a break from all the royal stuff. He wanted to show me more of the jungle where he grew up with his friends, Timon and Pumbaa. Huh. We got separated not long ago, and I'm supposed to meet him in this jungle. But I don't want to lead a pack of angry hyenas right to him. Tell me more about the hyenas. The hyenas have been mad at us ever since we forced them away from Pride Rock. Their numbers are dwindling. There aren't as many as there were back when their leader Scar was here. But there's still enough of them to cause a lot of trouble. We need to throw them off our trail. What can I do? I can hold the hyenas off for a bit, but there's a lot of them. Huh? If there was some way to block the path so they can't follow us, that would help. There's a lot of thorn bushes around here. I'll bet the hyenas wouldn't want to get tangled in those. They wouldn't, but how would we get them to the middle of the path? Ah, I bet my trusty watering can might be able to help us. You sure that's going to work? You're just going to have to trust me on this one. If you can hold off those hyenas, I'll plant some seeds for the thorns and water them until they grow. Don't worry, it shouldn't take long. It's magic. I don't know what it, that is, but you can explain it later. Uh -huh. I'll hold off the hyenas as long as, as long as I can. I just hope you know what you're doing. Thank you. Okay, so let's go to this. Dig out the dried thorn bushes to find some thorn seeds. Okay. Let's find the dried thorn bushes. Let's be those. No. Shovel. Sand. Okay. Oh, there's a chest, so let's go grab that. You close. My favorite. Okay. Here's one. And another. And I'm looking for one more right here. Okay. Plant the seeds in the hole near the ledge in the dried out oasis. Then water them until they go. So right here. Plant seed. So how long is it going to take them to grow? And then water them. Water the seeds close to the ledge at the far side of the dried out oasis. Okay. Can't they just crawl on the rocks? Hi! I can't believe that worked. The thorns are too dense for the hyenas to get through. We did it! Whoa, you just held off a whole pack of hyenas all on your own. Now it's time to find Simba. Right, <laughs> we'll have to head deeper into the jungle. Uh huh. Now it's my turn to help you. You should stick close to me for a bit. Even without the hyenas, the jungle is full of dangers. Hmm. I don't know where you fall on the food chain, but your teeth and claws aren't very sharp, and you look kind of squishy. <laughs> You've hardly got any fur. Is that normal for your species? Yep, I'm human. Ah, human, huh? 
I've never seen any of you around the waterhole. Well, welcome. And like I said, stick close to me. A lot of things <laughs> in this jungle might want to turn you into a meal. Good to know. I'll watch out. Looks like we're not going anywhere fast. There's a huge dried stump blocking our way into the jungle. Don't worry, maybe another one of my royal tools can remove that. Thank you! Okay, a huge dried stump. So, would it be this? Yes. Just a bunch of sticks. I'll go ahead and grab this one too. Okay, so we got to the jungle. Hmm, I don't see Simba. But the good news is, I don't see anything around here that would want to eat you either. Maybe I can help you look for Simba. That would be great. It's a pretty big jungle. I'll look around here. Why don't you look for Simba on the other side of the river over there? I'll need to find some way to get across. Maybe I could knock over one of those logs. Hey, Simba won't think I'm a heen out to get him like you did, right? I don't want another misunderstanding. If you aren't a threat, he's very friendly. If he bares his teeth, just say, Kuna Matata. He'll know you're a friend. Okay, here goes nothing. Uh, okay. So find a way to lower the log. Uh, what log? Near the waterfall. I don't see a log. Where's the log? Hmm. Huh. Okay. I mean, I guess the pickaxe, maybe, but I don't see a log. So I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, okay. Well, that was unexpected. I guess we'll not litter up this. Okay, cross the river in search for Simba. There's Simba. Grr! Roar! Uh-oh, I think I scared Simba. What did Nala tell me to say to calm him down? Hakuna Matata. Oof. Huh, did you just say Hakuna Matata? <laughs> Are you a friend of Timon and Pumbaa? Actually, I'm a friend of Nala. She sent me to find you. Nala, hey, hey. I've been looking all over the jungle for her. She's waiting on the other side of the river. Wow, thanks for the <sighs> help. Any friend of Nala's is a friend of mine. Oh, and uh, sorry about roaring at you before. Mm. With all these hyenas around, we can't be too careful. Hey, no worries. <laughs> you certainly know Timon and Pumbaa's motto. I think you'll get along with them pretty well. Why don't we go see Nala? She's right near the entrance to the jungle. Hmm. Great, let's go. So long. Come on. And then we watch their joyous reunion. Nala, am I glad to see you. Me too. I've missed you. And I could have used some help fending off those hyenas. Well, it looks like you handled it just fine on your own. Are you okay? 
Yes, but fighting off a pack of hyenas does make you work up quite an appetite. I'm so hungry I could eat a whole zebra. Not a lot of zebras around here. But don't worry, I think I know just the thing. Though, I might need some help from Heather to put it together. Wait. Simba, you better not be talking about... Trust me. I promise you'll find them slimy yet satisfying. Okay. Hi! It's great being back here with Nala. Last time we didn't get to explore much. Uh -huh. I want to do something special for her. Show her what life was like for me with Timon and Pumbaa. And special occasion uh -huh. in the jungle always calls for grubs. Grubs? Wait, like, bugs? Ew. As long as I don't need to eat any. <laughs> you don't. But when you see how tasty they look, you'll change your mind. I'll just need uh. some help finding everything. Mm. There are some really slimy bugs that you can fish out of the river around here. And there's some really colorful bugs just outside the jungle in the dried out oasis. Okay, I'll go collect those while you get everything ready here. Okay. Thanks. So let's fish out bugs. Nala's getting pretty excited for her bug dinner. We didn't get it that close. Okay. No, come on. It seems to, like, jump a bit there. That's the problem. There. It was jumping. Okay, let's go find her last one. Uh, right here. Okay. Okay, it looks like a wave. That's a Moana one. And then we just need to get back in here and find bugs. Where would the bugs be? Probably in like those things, maybe? Or maybe in the ground, now that things are sparkling. Was that only two? Yeah, I wish it was not squishing. It's making squishing sounds. It's really gross. Glad you're here. Great job, but I think this meal could use more crunch. There's some red bugs over where you found me earlier. You'll have to dig up the stumps, so be careful. Once you've got the stumps out, the bugs will start running away. You'll have to be pretty fast to catch them. Oh, great. See ya! I am not fast. I am not fast. So hopefully I have multiple chances on this. Oh, what are these? Oh, just vanilla. It must be these. That's not bugs. Oh, crap. Hopefully they don't disappear. <laughs> oh, gosh. Did I lose this other one? No. I mean, I guess luckily they did. 
Cook three bug platters. Do I have to leave, I guess? Okay, I guess I do. I guess I have to leave and come back. Because I don't... I didn't come across a cooking station. And I don't have one on me, so I don't think it'll... Leave. So I guess I'm gonna have to leave and go cook some bug platters. Okay, can I map out now? Okay, so I'm gonna have to get out here, but we should be able to warp back there instead of having to run up here. All right, let's go to the house. And cook. I wish they gave me some new doors. So, bug platter. And I needed, what, three of them? So that should be everything I need. Let's get back up here. We shall go to Lion King. And let's give them to Nala. Hi! So these are the grubs that Simba loves so much. I have to admit, <laughs> they do look kind of tasty. I must be really hungry. Well, here goes. Hmm. Huh? The taste is... Is it like chicken? I'm not sure, but I can't see but I can see how Simba started to like it after a while. They're sort of crackly and squishy at the same time. Hey, did you hear that? Hear what? Shh. Stay quiet and listen. I think it's more hyenas. I'm going to check. <gasps> it's definitely hyenas, but this time it's not just a pack. It's as many as a herd. I counted hundreds of them. Hmm. Simba and I can handle ourselves against some of them, but their numbers. They're just too many. We're completely surrounded. If only we had a herd of lions to fight them off. Nala, that's it. We may not have a herd, but we could trick them into thinking we do. Huh? How would we do that? We just need to make it sound like we have a hundred lions in the jungle. I'm going to sneak back to my village and try to find something. I'll talk to Mr. McDuck. I'll bet he has something that would help. Uh -huh. Alright, Simba and I will try to hold back the hyenas. But please hurry. Goodbye. Now we can jump back pretty quick. Alright, Scrooge, Scrooge, Scrooge. A minute of your time? Hey, you need what exactly? I need oh. something to scare off a whole lot of hyenas. Maybe some sort of hyena repellent spray? <laughs> hyena repellent? We don't get many hyenas in the valley. So it wouldn't make much sense to stock that. Okay, so maybe a spray isn't practical. But what about something to make a lot of noise to scare them off? If I could just turn the sound of two lions roaring into the sound of a hundred lions roaring... <gasps> oh, well, why didn't you say that so from the start? I've got an old sound system in the basement of my shop. I think it used to belong to someone Goofy knew. <laughs> it's in rough shape, but with a few repairs, it ought to do the trick. With that, I could amplify the sound of a couple lines roaring so that it fills the whole jungle. 
Thanks, Mr. McDuck. I'll do some repairs and take this back to Nala. Okay, what do Goodbye we need? Now. Toodaloo. Crafting station. What's vegetable seed? I guess I had everything already. All right. Well, that's interesting. Ah. There's way more stuff now. I wonder when the Easter thing is supposed to happen. This village is beautiful. Okay, return to the Light King realm. Bring the sound system to Nala. Hi. What's this? It's a sound system. I'll get the speaker set up. Just think of it as a really big noisemaker. If you and Simba roar into the microphone as loud as you can, the noise will fill the whole jungle. The hyenas will think we've got an army of lions on our side. That should scare them away. Mm. I guess it's worth a try. Say, can humans roar? If you roared with us, it would make it even louder. I guess I could try. Go on, let me hear you roar. Roar. Not too bad, Heather. Maybe you've got a little lion in you after all. I'll get the sound system set up. It's now or never. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. The hyenas <laughs> cleared out as soon as they heard the sound of the roaring. Yeah. I'm impressed, Heather. And you've definitely made me curious about this place you come from. Why don't you come find out? It's called Dreamlight Valley. There's a lot for you to explore. I'd love to see some new places. Though I do have one question. Do you have any food besides grubs? We've got lots of food. Zebra? Afraid not. Antelope? Sorry, none of that either. <gasps> Hippo? What do you have? Why don't you come visit and find out? Is there a place for lions to sleep? Good point. I'll get one set up for you. Ooh. Then Simba and I will come visit as soon as it's ready. Thank you know you. what we failed to mention here to Simba and Nala? That Scar is there. <laughs> you know... Simba's uncle, they killed his dad and tried to take over his pride. You know, that one. And they're going to live in the same area because I don't have anywhere else to put them. How big is Pride Rock? Oh, uh... Can I get this in here by the elephant graveyard? Okay, we're gonna put it right there by the elephant graveyard. Greetings, neighbor. Ah, Heather, did you know that Pride Rock is a traditional home? of lions in this valley? Unfortunately, the forgetting left the place overgrown and in a sorry state. But don't fret, I can clear out anything dangerous. For a modest fee, of course. Uh, of course? Sparkle me spats. When I'm done with this place, it'll be fit for a king. Welcome, Nala. All right, that's a good one. Okay. Make friends was a thing. Okay. All right, so talk to Nala. 
Whoa, you weren't kidding about this place. It's beautiful. Say, where's Simba? He said he'd come meet us soon. He wanted some time alone. The fight with the hyenas. I think it brought back some old memories about his father. Speaking of old memories, I think I've been here before. You used to live here, Nala, back before the forgetting. It might take a while for all of your memories to come back. Just trying to take it slow. This is amazing. I can't believe I ever forgot this place. It already feels like I have friends here. I hope Simba comes to join us soon. I'll go talk to him. For now, you just enjoy the village. You could explore the valley. There's so much to see. I'll do some scouting and see what I find. There's just one thing I have to warn you about. Watch out for Scar. Scar is here? That's... How is that possible? I watched him fall from Pride Rock, and he can't have survived. Uh, he's pretty cunning. Who knows how he survived, but I wouldn't put anything past him. I guess you're right. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on Scar. You better not try anything, or I'll put a stop to it. Okay. Alright. So we did do that. Um... We do need to go get Simba. However, I think we will wait till the next episode for that. Um, before we end, I think it looks like I have to customize Mickey ears. So I need to create... So, Touch of Magic Disclaimer. Touch of Magic is a tool that's meant to express your creativity. Be mindful to create content, suit, content suited for all audiences and avoid creating anything inappropriate or harmful. Okay, Touch of Magic Decorating. Change the color of your selected item. Add up to 50 motifs. Okay. I want... Flourishes. Can we add that to our stuff? Okay, R. This is not my style. I'll do gold. And. Okay, I wanna. Can I rotate this? Okay, how do I save it then? Okay. Save and quit. Okay. So we made some Mickey ears. That's all we needed for this anyway. We're going to go ahead and get that going. And I guess what we'll do, let's go ahead and talk to Goofy to get that done. He is asleep, so we are not talking to Goofy right now. All right, well, I guess that's going to be everything for this time. In the next one, we'll go after Simba. We'll hope Goofy is awake so we can talk to him. I think he does not sleep as late as Minnie or uh, Donald. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be everything for this time, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!